Working for Coach Wilms is really great because she's just a really good coach overall. She knows what she's doing and she knows how to handle situations that the players don't know. She's just a really great coach. She helps us with our specific like positions and um, before the season she gives us all a word that she thinks that we need to work on and then we'll have um, individual meetings and then before every game we'll write it on our wrist and along with that she'll write us a note for each match and I just think that it's really cool that she spends so much time um, thinking about the players. She knows when to make us work hard but she also knows when to have fun like out of practice we're always goofing around and having fun but in practice we take everything seriously. Yeah, Coach Williams is a lot of fun. Um, she makes practices hard, but that makes us better and she holds everyone accountable, so that's it makes our team better overall. So on our, our team, we have uh, a saying about holding the rope. And the idea is you have to be able to look around the huddle. And if you're hanging off the edge of a cliff, you have to trust everyone there that they would hold that edge of the rope for you so hard that their hands would bleed and they would pull you back up. And that accountability isn't like, I have to be the best player at any given time, but I have to be the best player for my teammates at any given time. Holding the rope. So Mr. Tady one day came in and had a meeting with the whole team. And um, he asked us if we were dangling off a cliff, who from the team would we want to be holding us up from falling? And we all kind of just sat there and then he said, really it shouldn't matter who's holding you because you should be able to trust every one of your teammates. So really holding the rope just means that your teammates should be able to trust you and know that you'll do anything for them to make the team succeed, like running through a wall, diving after a ball, anything you can. Um, in being diagnosed with cancer in 2018, part of that process included going through four months of chemotherapy, which was undoubtedly the most difficult time for me as a person, both physically and emotionally. It's it's incredibly daunting. and. Um, you know, I had, I had a choice on how to approach that. And so obviously taking um, joy and working to be healthy for my family was my first uh, priority and enjoying them. But then it's also looking out of the why am I doing this? Willem's battle with cancer really encouraged the team because um, her battle just taught us like tough times are gonna happen, adversity's gonna hit. And like we experienced that during our season with those five set matches. And at the beginning we really struggled. So I just felt like in the back of our mind, Willem's battle just kind of reminded us that bad things will happen, but you need to keep working and battling through them. I knew that we had the opportunity because of the skill that we had in the gym to potentially win a state title, but a whole lot of things have to go your way. But in the moments that I was mulling it over, I just decided, no, like, we're doing this. The narrative for me was we are winning a state title in 2019 and I'm going to do whatever it takes as a coach to help our, our players to do that. Along with our, our state quarterfinal and semifinal matches being five sets, also, our regional semifinal and our regional final were five sets. And um, while I probably didn't think it at the time uh, because it was, you know, stressful and um, trying to help the players through a five set match and really kind of to change the game plan oftentimes in the match because something wasn't working, we needed to change. Uh, I think it was incredibly valuable for us in that when we had experienced those matches in our regional play, when we got to the floor of the state tournament, we were not rattled by a five set match. It was like, oh, this is what we do. Here we are again. So I think that, um, you know, it just allowed us to find a way to sustain our level of play and adjust our level of play as we needed to uh, throughout the tournament. During our regional semifinal and final, it was really nerve wracking to go into those five sets because it's anyone's game at that point in the fifth set but we just wanted it more. And then when we played West Liberty and then Union, um, when it went to five sets, we knew that we were gonna take it because we've been so used to it and five sets was kind of our thing. Carol Kemper uh, was the defending state champion and kind of has been you know, the top of 3A for several years. And uh, we, after, while we were playing, actually our semifinal match, we were simultaneously taping them. 
and then um, we got home after we ate and spent several hours on match film and we were able to really find a way to exactly match up our lineup the way we wanted to with them. And then even more simply, our serving game just absolutely uh, sent them out of system the whole time so they weren't able to get the ball to, um, you know, their best hitter was all tournament team captain. She did not look like it against us. We scouted the team so we had a pretty good idea of like who their best players were and how they were going to try to beat us. So. I guess Willem, Coach Willems did a good job of preparing us knowing like what the other team was going to do on the other side of the net, so it wasn't a surprise when we got there. I mean, yeah, there were some nerves, it was a big stage, but really like I kind of just felt comfortable with the team, like I, I knew we were going to do fine, especially after having two five set matches at state and all the pressure, we were kind of used to it on the third day. In the postseason it's a lot different because you don't have as much time to prepare for the teams you're going to play. So it's more about defining who their big hitters are and how to defend them. Probably a big turning point was just in the state championship game. Um, after like the first set, we kind of knew we could do it after that because we went in and we were, we were expecting them to be like really good, but um, we played like really well the first set, um, pretty much like error free. So after we got that first set underway and we were like comfortable, we weren't nervous anymore, I think we just kind of realized we could do it and we did. To win this state title, especially after we'd like struggled, you know, in September and, you know, many outsiders probably were like, eh, this probably isn't going to happen for them. Um, the truth is I I'd never lost confidence in them. I just had to keep helping them to play how I knew they were capable of. Winning state uh, still doesn't feel real. Um, it was really exciting for everyone. It felt like a dream. I can't really explain the feeling because I never really felt anything like that before. But it's like all the hard work just pays off. It felt really good. It was always a dream of like everyone obviously to win state. And this season we really thought that we could do it. We had a really good team chemistry, so it was really awesome. It felt like a dream come true, I guess. It just felt really good to have the whole team be there and play together and win it. Winning a state title felt so good. I really like felt surreal, I guess, just because when we were little girls, um, we always dreamt of that. And just all that hard work finally paid off. The truth is the first emotion I really felt was gratitude, just profound gratitude for the opportunity to be where I am, coaching the kids that I am, and um, just everything. The community was so supportive. Our student body was so amazing. It like just felt great.